This is my most highly requested video on this channel. I am giving you guys my apartment tour and also I'm giving you my final apartment tour because I'm moving and I couldn't move out of this apartment without giving you guys the apartment tour you guys have been wanting. I have been through so much in this apartment. This is very emotional for me. I'm gonna just be real. So I first moved into this apartment September 2019. We are at the new apartment before the pandemic. I had just moved home from LA and I felt like a failure and I felt like I fucked up and I didn't want to keep living at my parents' house at 23. I moved to LA this past year. I felt like I had lived my dream life in LA in this beautiful apartment to just drive home and be here in a Pennsylvania apartment. And for those of you guys that have followed me, you guys know that the LA apartments were pretty luxurious. And not saying that this isn't luxurious, but this is a different vibe. This is very suburban and cozy. And for a while, I felt like I had fucked up maybe. And um, I went through a really hard time in this apartment the first few months I moved in here. I thought I had made a mistake. Everything feels overwhelming. I actually wanted to move apartments right before the pandemic in March 2020. I was looking at apartments in the area to get out of here because I just thought that the energy was so bad because it was so boring and suburban and it wasn't me. But then, as you know, the pandemic happened and I was forced to stay here and the universe just kind of made me pause and really put my roots in this apartment. And with that time off and the world paused, I got so creative, I got reconnected with my inner child, and I made the coziest space that I now don't wanna leave. Every time I fly home from LA, I can't wait to come to this apartment. I've been through so much in this apartment, so much heartbreak. I came out of the closet in this apartment. I went through a pandemic. I started my music career in this apartment. This apartment has so many milestones in it. It's gonna be really hard to say bye to it, but I am so freaking grateful for this space and I'm gonna give you guys the apartment tour. So when you walk in the apartment, you just see this big space. You see the kitchen, the living room, the dining room, everything's just really open. We are on the fourth floor corner unit, so we have a nice view and a lot of windows. A lot of these apartments in this unit don't have windows like this. I love that I have a balcony too. But also when you walk in, if you turn the camera this way, you'll see my glam suite is this way. This is the section of the apartment I used to say was the girl cave, the glam suite, the getting ready area. This is the suite all together. Men aren't allowed past this point. I can keep my girl mess, my makeup, my clothes, everything on the floor behind this point. So this helped me get out of trouble because I felt like I had so much of a girl mess so I just kept it in here and the colors really reflect that it's a girl spot. And around this way, this is my bedroom and I never ever film in here. We're gonna save this for last because I recently did make changes that I feel like you guys will like. This is my big open living dining kitchen area. I feel like we're doing like a 360 tour. Okay, so what do I remember in this space? The one spot that I'm gonna miss the most in this apartment is this corner of this couch. I call it my station. When I'm done working and I have nothing to do at the end of the day, I get comfy and I lay on in this corner specifically and I have all these pillows hug me and I watch Netflix. I know I can do this in my new house, but I think I'm gonna miss like the way that I just feel like I'm in like a little log cabin up in the air. Like you look out the window and there's like a view of fields. Sometimes I felt like Rapunzel up here, just like locked away in my tower. This is my crying spot. This is my Netflix spot. This is my songwriting spot. I'm gonna miss this brick wall. This brick wall. Let's talk about this brick wall. When I redid this apartment, this was the best thing I ever did. So many people ask if it's real or if, it's, if I'm in a real loft, not in Pennsylvania. But guys, it's actually like, stapled into the wall. I have mixed feelings about this kitchen. When I first moved into this apartment, I hated the cabinets. Like I literally thought it reminded me of my grandma's house. But 
I also realized that the apartment I had in LA had warm cabinets. The only reason they looked nice was because they had modern countertops, not granite. It was like marble and white. So I realized, well, I can't change my countertops. What can I do with this kitchen? And I realized I want to make it look like the show Friends, just like super cozy. Rock the fact that it's not bougie or LA or modern. So I really rolled with the cozy vibe. Prescription I need to get filled, wedding invitations. Don't show my prescription. Polaroids. I don't know, I just feel like this is just so cozy. Over here is my dining area. And I remember when I was designing this area, I knew I didn't have a big enough space for a long table, so I had to get a circle table. I have this weird memory of me, summer 2021, trying to make those clay rings that were super trendy, like at this table. Okay, this is so exciting. All my rings are melting. What the fuck? And I don't know why, but that'll always remind me of this spot. Most of my memories aren't actually from this big, big living dining kitchen room. They come from my glam suite, so let's go over there. Welcome to the glam suite. I'm gonna miss this. Never have I ever seen a bedroom in an apartment have an in-wall vanity and this own little hallway. What gave me the inspo for the glam suite was the fact that this was supposed to be the master bedroom with this big grand entryway and I saw it and I was like oh hell no this is all gonna be a closet so like from this point on it's just clothing racks girly shit playboy bunnies on the wall colors orange bathroom it's so weird to think that someone could live in here and use this as a bedroom because this bedroom is my closet this is my closet welcome to the closet this is where I film out of, this is where I work out of, this is where I do my makeup, this is where I pick out my outfits in the morning. Can we just reminisce on the fact that when I started this channel, I had so much more color hanging up on these wardrobes. And back in the day when I was into buying every trend possible during the quarantine, I literally had every color possible up here. So like little moment of growth, but also like, I grew up, like I really feel like I grew up and that shows that. I have so many memories of editing here on the phone with like team members and on the phone with Gabby. I think this was my favorite aesthetically in all my videos. Oh wait, the orange bathroom. Welcome to the girls room. Hi, hey guys, welcome to the bathroom. When I made this bathroom, I felt like I was playing Sims because I was like, all right, there's no windows, but it's a bathroom and it's gonna be a part of my morning routine. I'm gonna wanna wake up in here, but the no windows was really throwing me off. It feels like nighttime in here. So when I was redoing this bathroom, I was like, what's gonna wake me up? You know what? The color orange. I am gonna spill some tea. Let, let's lower the camera because I always used to hide this. The peel and stick tile isn't as nice as you think it is. Look what it's doing. That's the actual tile underneath. Yeah, that's hair. All right, bedroom it is. Welcome to my bedroom, guys. Come in. It's nothing special, but it's my most personal room in the apartment. Oh, this room is so small. I'm filming on a wide angle lens. I don't think you realize how small this apartment actually is, but I think that's the thing I'm gonna miss the most. I learned how to really utilize my space and condense everything, and I love waking up and feeling cocooned. I feel like sometimes big spaces could feel lonely. Waking up in this tiny room, I just feel so comforted. This bed pretty much takes up this whole room, and that was kind of the point. I said I want a huge bed, and I want to have a bedroom, like a room that's just a bed, a bed in a room. Nobody knows this, but this is where I store all my sweatpants. <laughs> this is my like real wardrobe, but we don't show that. Everyone that comes over says this TV is fucking huge, and honestly it is. I want to turn it on for you guys. YouTube. <laughs> I feel like I'm giving like a class presentation. This is what I watch falling asleep. Alright, I'm gonna lay in bed. You give the full experience on the camera.
guys, I'm gonna end this tour here. I'm down to my last week in this apartment. I'm really taking it in. I have the move all scheduled. I feel like this is a big step for all of us. I feel like most of you guys started watching me in this apartment and this is scary, but just because you're scared of something doesn't mean you can't do it. I can't wait to start this next chapter and bring you guys along and here's to a new year, to a new space and watch my vlogmas because I'm gonna be in the new house. I love you guys so much. Subscribe, turn on your, your notifications so you don't miss the empty house tour which is coming next and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.